Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to a revolting review from me, Random Horror. So yeah, I'll probably do more of these horror reviews called Revolting Reviews when I set up Random Horror as its own spin-off channel coming soon. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yes, a revolting review where I review horror films only. So, today I review Ouija Origins of Evil, written and directed by Mike Flanagan. And starring Annalise Basso, is that how you pronounce it? Elizabeth Risa and Lulu Wilson and Henry Thomas. So, Ouija is a prequel to the 2014 film Ouija, where we follow the old lady in the wheelchair from the first one, played by Elise, who was in uh, from Insidious. That's not her actual name, I forgot the actress's name. Anyway, yeah, she uh, we follow her and her sister pretty much like the first one. You know, if you know the first one, you see all... It's like the whole loose ends get tied in this. Um, so we see what happens when they get the Ouija board and what happens and stuff. And yeah, you know, when they... It just starts off where... The mother from the first one, who's a ghostly apparition, and the daughters. We, we first see that it's set in 1967. So, it's set in the 60s. And um, what it is, is she's like... The mother is like this... They don't want to say scam artist. Because they believe what they're doing gives people closure and just makes them move on. Because of the um, ghostliness. Um... So yes, the um, it's all they stage all these ghostly scenarios and seances out until they get a Ouija board. Think, oh, let's add this to our props and that. And well, shit, it's the fan when they get one because the daughter start the youngest daughter, uh, Doris, played by Lulu Wilson, and then there's the oldest uh, daughter, Lena, who's played by that Annalise Basso, and then there's the mother, played by Elizabeth Risa. You know, get a Ouija board. She thinks she can stage it out as well using a Ouija board. But hey, next thing you know, the real deal starts happening and we find out that the house that they're living in had a dark past. You know, very bleak and horrible things happened in it. They seek the help of Father Tom, played by Henry Thomas. He tells them that, you know, this is bad. This is really bad. Dark entities are there. And yes... You know, it's haunted by the evil, by a spirit called Marcus, who's more like a demonic entity now. Anyway, the loose ends on the first one, as I say, get tied. And pretty much the old woman from the first one in the wheelchair. I can't remember the... Oh, yeah. Um, Lena, the old woman from the first Ouija film. We discover that, you know, how she ended up in the mental hospital and that and stuff while she's like that and that so yes it's quite a thought there was a lot more um story to this one than the first one the first one seemed to be focusing on some teenagers doing stuff they shouldn't but this one it focuses on a family uh, and the whole premise of it the only thing that the first film has in common with the second one is it's set in the same house in two different time zones so um that's what it is. But like I told you, it's a prequel. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm going to give Ouija Origins of Evil... Um, do you know what? I'll give it a good 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. I recommend this film. If you like the first Ouija film, you'll like this one. So yes, uh, this has been my revolting review on Ouija. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've seen this film, let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to share this video, 
please share and yep and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't been here before and you want to see more from me also all my social media links are linked down below so yeah until next time i bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye Oh yeah, I don't have nightmares.